Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome back. As always, this is Aprilia AI and today we're going to be looking into another AI image generating service. This one is called Leonardo AI and this is actually quite a popular service these days right behind Dall E and Mid Journey. So in case you're looking for alternative for those two, this is actually an excellent choice in case you don't have the option to run stable diffusion on your own computer or device. Leonardo AI is much more tailored towards to uh, gaming illustrations and obviously has a couple of interesting features which we are obviously going to be touching upon in this video but it's kind of made for game illustrations and in kind of like sort of a that niche. Obviously, you can do many different things with it as we're going to be showing you in this video. I also want to remind people that this one has a free trial version. So anybody that basically, you know, has a Gmail account or other social media account basically can log in and get some free credits to basically play around with. And there are a couple of different things, uh, obviously, that we need to cover here. We're going to be looking into their main base. Uh, prompting service which is using stable diffusion technology underneath there's obviously something that they have their own thing called the alchemy which is more like a uh, expansion to that one of the very cool things that they also have is the ai canvas and this is basically allowing us to re-edit the images that we're going to be prompting out so more about that later and then there's this 3D texture uh, texture uh, tool, which allows you to basically upload a 3D model and then basically give it a texture. Now, I don't have these OBJ files because I'm not really a 3D modeler in the first place, but this is an excellent way to basically get started out with your own game and saving on the time and cost to basically create out your own textures for your own 3D model. So this is very innovative. Uh, technology. And here are some other images which have been prompted out by the community. And probably we could talk about, well, the application obviously here. And I think usually we start out with talking about the price. So currently you can have 150 fast generations per day. There are, well, limitations on how big those can be on this free version. 30 upscales per day, 75 background removals per day, daily free tokens when your balance falls below 150, one pending jobs, and basically that's it. As um, far as I'm also aware, all of these tiers give you the commercial rights to your images that you're going to be generating with, their, with this service. And then you have some other, you know, plans which start around 12 to 10, $10. And these are actually quite affordable, this apprentice deal at least. We can, um, you know, these are also private, which is not actually on the cheapest mid-journey things. So and that's actually good. Prior to infrastructure and relax, relax, relax generation queue is actually very useful because it consumes a lot less generations and that time, at least on mid-journey that I've explored. And then there's some other things, and you can delve into these, but my overall, you know, emphasis on these prices is that it's relatively cheap compared to the competition. So I think there has been a kind of like a wider range of discounts on these things. And there are different types of models available here on Leonardo AI, and they have these alchemy ones, which are gonna be experimented with. And I'm pretty sure that these have been done by the Leonardo team. There are some other ones like Dream Shaper, which is Photo Real, Pastel Dream. We have RP Absolute Reality. These are some things I've used in the past, obviously, on my Stable Diffusion. And there's Pixel Art. There are Isometric Art. Different types of things which are used for different types of games. So a lot of different options here. But we are going to be, obviously, using out these Alchemy ones because those are the highest quality stuff that we can generate right now. And here are some um, recent creations which have been trending on the market. These seem to be pretty high quality. Not a lot of like, I don't know if these post-processed images, but it seems like not a lot of like faulty things. Okay, here we can see the pause, but disfigured, it's not looking realistic. But for the most part, we are seeing a pretty good images here, which seem to be not having these real technical flaws or inaccuracies, we, which we would see with a lot of other AI things. Now, obviously, these are the trending ones. These are the best ones. And you can even filter by upscaled. So apparently these are also upscaled images. So we can go into AI image generation. So this is the first service we're gonna be looking into first. You can choose how many images you're gonna be prompting. Obviously, that is gonna be having a direct correlation on how many 
credits we are gonna be losing. And then there's the photo reel. I'm not gonna be doing photo reel. And this is Leonardo Alchemy's our new powerful image generation pipeline. Click questions for more info. So basically it's using greater fidelity and adherence, lifelike portraits and other things, and basically higher quality images all around. So I'm just gonna be copying something random from here and we're gonna be also adding a negative prompt here, just like trying out this image this was done on. We could do this one, I guess, and let's see how it's gonna be costing. So this is 32 points, so um, it's actually quite a lot since we're prompting many many images here. And uh, I really like the layout here, for, first of all, because it's very clean. We have a lot of information here and it's very easy to browse. We have also many different like, not just like um, we have obviously the diffusion model, which we're using, but we also have these different like, like these tags or not really tags, but let's say it's a category. And then there are some elements that we can also add in here. And these are like Laura's basically. So these are, this is a pretty exciting stuff. So, but let's get back. Our image is actually done. And these are pretty good quality, I might have to say. This is like a car image that I tried to do. It's a bit different from the one that we have on Civitai where I copied from, but these are very high end. Okay, here that it seems like it's backtracking, but this is this is really good. So here's a one, one example of that. And obviously using different dimensions is gonna be using apparently like different amount of points. And I think we also are, have the ability to basically choose another person's image and do our own version out of it. So let's try out what was really cool when we had here, which could see some other iterations. Okay, let's take this one and generate with photo real. You know, now it's not showing us the, uh, okay. So you also have the ability to um, give it out like an idea about like, let's say C and it can basically give out you an idea for a prompt for, well, we can just try this out, how it actually turns out. Let's try two images here. So that's a very nice uh, thing here. And we let's try to do like a vibrant. And what elements do we have here? We wanna have, uh, wow, there's so many different. Well, let's try Lunar Punk here. This one costs a different amount of uh, points and credits here. So um, we can also like in the next part, we're gonna be exploring the canvas feature. And the canvas feature has a really cool thing that we have the ability to basically upload an existing image and do a lot of um, fixing on it. So in case we have a prompt that we have done now and it's basically having some inaccuracies on it, something that's not looking very good, then we just like, um, okay, NSC fee contact, let's, okay, no, nothing bad. So these actually look pretty good. It's definitely not what we were trying to prompt here because we are not doing fish. No, it actually, actually was doing, I just didn't read that. So let's say we want to take this image. I'm gonna save it up on my computer. We're gonna be throwing it in the desktop, okay. And now we're gonna be taking this image into the canvas. So we wanna do some editing on this image. And some of these features, by the way, might be behind the paywall. So I'm not actually 100% sure. Let's use table using 2.1 and where we can actually see sketch text, upload an image from a computer. And I'm gonna be using the image that we just prompted out. Let me see where I can find it. There we go. So now we can choose an area here. So one of the things that I immediately saw was, and I haven't done try this by the way, like at all. So sketch, this area here looks kind of weird. So can I actually crystallize shiny scales? And now it should be supposedly do some fixes on those areas. I know there are some other tools that have basically um, used this and now it basically fixed it out. Okay, here we have um, this wide range. I should have probably increased this and it gives you four different variations. So this one actually looks the best. Now we want to move this line thing here because that, that area was not fixed out. So let's see if we can fix this out. And this will be using your tokens as well. So I kind of can see them, their model, why they're actually allowing us to give free credits here because you're gonna be using quite a lot. Okay, maybe that one looks the most realist. But that's kind of like to give you the idea here that this has the ability to basically just change out drastically the image. And there's even a texting feature here. What does this, okay, that's weird. Let's not use that because I have no idea what it does. And you can even use a masking feature here. You have a lot of things. Let's try to change this drastically. Let's, let's uh, 
add some stuff here. Okay, let's add uh, something crazy. Yeah, I don't know how this will turn out, but let's see. And you obviously have the variations of how many different, you know, versions you want to have. This obviously will save you on the on the things. And oh yeah, I should have probably actually increased the, uh, the selection tool here. I don't know why this is locked stretch this out thing that maybe should have yeah well this is one of those things you should probably experiment a lot more as, as i know i'm like kind of like using this for the first time so i have no idea what i'm doing basically but there's a snapping tool and this should probably be increased about can we actually like change this area here to uh, how do we actually get the masks okay let's just for <laughs> let's just forget that but this is gonna like give you a bit of an idea and let's try to do another um prompt here we're trying out something more different here generate with this model and we're going to be putting out another very random prompt let me pick up something from civitai and see that's how this is basically going to be working out and this like let's go with this and even if there's some loras which are not supported here it doesn't matter usually these turn out to be pretty good anyways so let's how uh, let's see how this will pan out but overall i would say that leonardo ai has very very high quality when it comes to building out these images you have this post-processing feature and then you have that whole texturing thing on top of it and there are a lot of other advanced controls here which we haven't even touched upon these are the guidance scales and tilings and things like that and you know some of them like to use these you can even use seeds here and schedulers a lot of different features here and there i mean most of these websites do have like different types of variations when it comes to editing these images but i would have to say that there are actually quite a lot of features here available and these are actually quite nice looking so here we have a dragon chibi style dragon and i'm actually liking the end results here very clear cut very good quality so this stable diffusion xl is like really really good and the top of this alchemy technology is like really good and then i can do like these uh, post editing things so we can even remove background so let's see actually how that works out okay we smooth it out let's see we don't want the background here so let's see how it actually will deal with it. Will it leave the rock out or will the rock stay? And now we'll basically remove everything else. There's a good blur on the background. So it should be able to distinguish what things are removed from the image here. Okay, for some reason it did not remove anything on the background. Do we have to actually like go on? No, it just didn't. Let's try with another image. If it actually knows how to, I don't know if this is glitched or something. Oh, there's the original image, no background. Well, this actually turned out to be pretty okay. Granted, the wings on the back are blurry, so they kind of look bad. Otherwise, let's go in the back to that image and no background. Okay, there's some white detail there, but this is pretty good. Like, okay, here, here it has some problems taking this cut and original image and alchemy smoothed image. Not a lot of different things. You can see it tried to sharpen out the things on the background, which is very unnecessary because that's not what we want to do. And here, for example, Let's say we try to do some sharpening here, crisp upscale. And this will also cost you some credits. So there are many different features here in post-processing. Post-processing is very important, guys, in my opinion, because if you don't have access to Photoshop, and even if you have access to Photoshop, it's gonna be taking some time to basically go through. So original image and upscale, which also, did it widen the image? No, but it looks better. It does look a bit better. Maybe some of the quality is a bit lost in here in translation here. Here we saw the glow kind of looks weird there in terms of the shadows. Let me actually zoom in here. But well, it wasn't really great to begin with. But um, that's basically my review on Leonardo. I definitely recommend it. I think if you're looking for an alternative for Mid Journey, this might be on Dolly, obviously. This might be a great option for you. There are a multitude of different models uh, available here. It maybe doesn't have as, well, actually there's a fair amount of models here, but, but they're very specific. So it doesn't have as wide of a category as some of the other platforms that I've used in the past. But these are very like isometric things and things like that are kind of tailored towards for people who are making games. And that's kind of has been the whole premise of Leonardo to basically create illustrations and create images that are used by gaming developers out there who can't you know afford to buy expensive artists and things like that as always subscribe to this channel like and share and i will be seeing you in the next video whatever that may be see you soon cheers